Hey guys, thanks for joining me. I'm an Army veteran, a retiree, and a federal government employee. And this channel is focused from the transition from military to civilian. In this video, I'm going to be discussing how to find a mentor for your transition. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Now let's get started. All right, so there's a lot of benefits to speaking to somebody who's already been where you're headed. And there are times during the transition process where things seem real hazy. The anxiety kind of sets in there and you don't know what to expect, but you're getting closer and closer to the date where you're exiting the military. And if you've been in the military for a considerable amount of time like I was, then all of that is amplified. So what I would consider and recommend is that say, 12 to six months before you're exiting the military at a minimum, you need to reach out and try to identify that mentor that can assist you with getting the next job or providing any type of guidance or advice you may be seeking. Let's talk about it. First, I would suggest getting on LinkedIn and creating an account. Now, if you don't know what LinkedIn is it's a social media platform that's designed for professional jobs and those who are looking for networking opportunities. So I would get onto LinkedIn and start filling out your account profile. So this is basically gonna mirror your resume. And I'll go ahead and I'll leave a link to my profile if you wanna take a look at that and kinda of get an idea on how to get started. Good news is that right now if you sign up for LinkedIn, you get one year free of the premium access. And that premium membership is available for those that are retiring, veterans, and also the spouse of a veteran. That's going to open up more options that will be inside of LinkedIn that you can take advantage of. And I will also leave a link down in the description for the premium service that you can take advantage of for free. So make sure you check that out. So once you have your account created, you want to go ahead and start looking for people that you already know or that have similar backgrounds that are willing to accept a connection. So there are a lot of posts and discussions that are already available on LinkedIn that you can engage with. When you add those people, you start adding people that you worked with or you were stationed with in the past or people that, uh, that you have interest in because they have experience in a sector you want to pursue. When you start adding and they accept you, that is starting to build your network, all right? This network is going to assist you when it comes to uh, experiences being shared, potentially referrals, opportunities, and mentors in the profession that you are pursuing. Second, there's, a, there's already a company called Veterati, and I will leave a link down also in the description for that company. What they do is provide a mentor. You can search through the database and find a mentor that matches what you're looking for, and then they set up a one hour free call. And this is a great benefit, so you can look in the area. I took advantage of it myself. I went on there and I actually spoke to two GS-15s in the Washington DC area, because that's where I was planning to transition to. So we went ahead and put a time, a date, we set up the call, I asked them a ton of questions, they provided really invaluable insight, and it was, a, it was a good deal. Also, it's just not federal government employees. You can get access to individuals that are managers, supervisors at private sector companies. You could talk to perhaps a CFO or a CEO or entrepreneurs. Um, there's a lot of different options out there where you can select the geographical location and the sector or field that you want to get into. Another great company is ACP. ACP is very similar, in my opinion, to Veterati, however, they actually have someone on their staff that does the matching instead of you. So they have someone on staff that kind that considers your background, skills, and education, and they match you with somebody they feel would be a, a, a good compatible match. Now they also set up a call. They go over membership goals, which could be resume uh, review, it could be interview preparation, networking, it could be uh, small business opportunities, uh, it, it could also be career exploration. So there's a lot of good things to consider with this company as well. And just like the others, I will go ahead and drop a link down in the description below so you can check them out as well. Another thing you should consider is 
A lot of us in the military this day and age, we already have social networking platforms such as Twitter, Facebook, whatever else you might be on. So you already have individuals that you know that were in the military or that have, uh, who have been out for a few years and it is beneficial for you to, to go ahead and give them a message, try to do a reach out, contact them, phone call. Maybe you want to scroll through your contact list and see who's in there, shoot them a text message and try to get a one hour call. So, or not even that, maybe like a 30 minute sit down coffee break. Or perhaps they could sit down with you for 15, 20 minutes, have a cup of coffee, exchange those ideas, and perhaps open open your mind up to different perspectives on what you should be expecting when you get out there. Finally, all transitions are going to have the setbacks, the stumbles, or most of them well, including mine. When I went through, I, I did a, uh, quite a few common errors, but in my situation... I was on LinkedIn and I saw a message come across the, the dashboard. Basically, uh, a man named Kevin, he offered his time to anybody in the D.C. area that wanted to have a cup of coffee and to talk about the transition process. And I jumped all over that. I, I sent him a message right away. And before you know it, probably a few weeks later, we sat down in the local area and he was a Vietnam veteran, so uh, he had his own different perspectives. But he had made himself quite the success. I believe he was working as an attorney on Capitol Hill. So it wasn't exactly the field I was trying to get into, but he was able to introduce me to other individuals that could provide me additional perspectives. And that really helped prepare me to enter the civilian force. And we started talking probably about seven or eight months before I actually took the uniform off. So I'm extremely grateful for him and for LinkedIn as a service that provided a platform for that connection to be made. And I believe as veterans, the lessons learned, especially in the transition process, we need to capture those and continue to share it. I know there's plenty of good groups out on LinkedIn that do a tremendous job of this, but I encourage any and all veterans, if you could look back and see those service members that are still in uniform and give those individuals some of your hard-fought wisdom when it comes to, to actually making the transition to the civilian life. Well, that wraps up my video on how to find a mentor for your transition. Now, if you have any advice for other veterans, please leave that down below as well as any questions or comments. If you like this video, please smash that like button, consider subscribing, and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.